welcome back to Live at the Legislature for our weekly Senate segment. I'm the Senate Communications Director, Jesse Broder Van Dyke, and we're coming to you live from the Senate chamber this week. Our guest this week is Senator Brian Taniguchi. Thanks so much for getting up early to be here with us. Senator Taniguchi represents Manoa, Makiki, Punchbowl, and pa Papokalea, and he's the chairman of the Labor, Culture, and Arts Committee. Uh, in the last segment, our House counterparts were talking a little bit about the joint legislative package that was introduced this year. It's the first time since 2004 that uh, the Senate, House, and Governor have all come together before the session. Can you tell us a little bit about the package? It's an exciting uh, concept, I think. Um, back when I was, uh, I guess, the uh, Ways and Means Chair um, in 2004, um, I worked with uh, then House Finance Chair, um, Doi Takamini, to kind of work on a package. So I know how that kind of thing uh, really helps to uh, build some momentum for um, the issues that we want to face and, and deal with. You know? And uh, one of the proposals this year is to raise the minimum wage, and that's going to be coming before your committee. Can you tell us about that? Sure. Uh, we've been trying to deal with the issue of minimum wage for the last probably couple of years. Mm -hmm. um, last year we were pretty close, but um, I think uh, you know there's still some issues that we hadn't been able to overcome. Uh, with this uh, joint package, I think um, uh, it deals in part with the minimum wage, but it also addresses a party a broader spectrum of people. Um, there are people that are affected by the minimum wage. Um, a lot of companies currently pay um, more than the minimum wage. Mm -hmm. So uh, I think this combined package of raising the minimum wage as well as some tax credits for uh, the working poor is really going to hit a larger group of people. And that's, I think, what we wanted to do. And we can see on the screen right now the proposal to bring it up to $13 an hour in 2024. Yes. How does that differ from what you were working on last year? Well, it's uh, it's a little lower than we would have uh, done last year. I think um, because we <coughs> had it as kind of a standalone issue, mm -hmm. um, we're trying to address the um, the DBED study that said that you know it take probably something like $17 an hour for a family mm -hmm. to um, well for a person to live in Hawaii and survive, and so we're trying to hit that mark at some point. Um, <coughs> but we believe that with this package, I think um, it'll help to um, alleviate a lot of those issues and. Um, I like the fact that we can kind of work together and uh, be sure that we have a, something at the end, mm -hmm. unlike last year where mm -hmm. we um, did not. And part of the package of bills is to give early education to three and four year olds? Right. And so it's um, it's early education for um, people to provide more access to um, early education and also housing to provide more, uh, I guess, rental and uh, housing for people to um, get into. And that way, I think uh, a combination of things that um, really is going to make this a powerful package. So even though the minimum wage is less than what's been discussed in the past with tax incentives, housing, and child care, you're, you're going to help people make ends meet? Well, you know, a, a lot of it is um, when we do these kinds of packages, there's, there's a certain amount of compromise that we have to do. And so I think that's um, what we came up with. And I think um, we've all agreed to try to support this and get this uh, package moving. Mm -hmm. And uh, where do the bills stand now? And how can people support the minimum wage increase, if that's something they're interested in? Uh, the um, the House heard the bill um, what they say, yeah, last week. And mm -hmm. so um, they are um, probably in better position. I think what the Senate will probably do is uh, wait for the House bill to come over and then have our hearing on, the, on that bill. Um, at, that at that time. Well, stay tuned. And uh, yeah. uh, you're also chairman of the, uh, well, that's the Committee on Labor, Culture, and the Arts. And yes. one of the things you've been working on is the archives, which are currently stored on the Ilani Palace grounds, but they're not available for public display. Yeah, we've, uh, uh, last year we, was the 50th anniversary of the state capitol building. And so we worked with the Ar state archives on that. Uh, we found out that they had a lot of resources and things that uh, the public doesn't really have access to and that the archives can't present to the public. And so... Uh, we worked on a resolution last year to try to um, see if we can have a master plan where we can have a better, um, so the public can have better access to the materials that the, that the archives has. And so um, this year we're trying to support a bill that might um, provide the archives with a, a planning kind of thing so that they can kind of design a building that would help them uh, do that. 
Well, one of uh, my favorite events of the year is the Art at the Capitol, which is mm -hmm. coming up this year on April 3rd, which is the first Friday from 5 to 7 p.m. Uh, tell us about what you have planned this year. Well, this year we've, um, we're, we're still in the planning stages, actually. Okay. Um, this is going to be our, I think, my 12th year, I think. And so um, we are, um, we've, we've done a lot of the, we've highlighted a lot of the art features at the Capitol. Um, and so this year, I think what we're look, looking at maybe the um, portraits in the governor's office. And so we'll um, kind of focus on that. And uh, another real interesting part is that we're going to probably have the staff people at the Capitol uh, do portraits of their... Of their bosses. Of their bosses. That's the plan right that now. That sounds scary. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it is kind of scary. Yeah. Yeah. Well, it's going to be fun, I think. So. Yeah, well, I'm looking forward to developing my artistic talent. Yeah, so it's going to be the first Friday in April. So okay. it'll start at about 4.30ish, and uh, it'll go in the, into the evening. And so people can come around, come to the Capitol, and look at all the artwork, uh, public art that's in, in the state capitol. Yeah, so there's some priceless works of art here that are on display, loaned from the State Art Museum to the legislators. And right. normally only people who meet with them get to see them. But on this one day, their doors are open for everyone to take a look. Right. So what are the 12, 13? years ago, um, yeah, somebody confronted me and said, hey, you have all this art in the state capitol and nobody gets to see it, only the, the lobbyists and you know people who work there. And so we decided to have this art at the capitol to kind of address that and at least one night a year have the public come in and uh, look, be able to look at all the art in the, in the building. That's great. So that's going to be, uh, once again, April 3rd from 5 to 7 p.m. Right. We have a little bit more time, so let's go back to the serious subjects and sure. talk more about the, the joint package. Um, you know, we, we've been focusing on the uh, Aloha United Way's Alice report that shows, like you mentioned, people really need at least $17 an hour to make ends meet. But we're trying to make up the gap with housing, affordable housing, and early education. And tell us a little bit more about the package. Well, um, you know, the early education part of it is important because apparently um, for a lot of uh, working families, young families especially, um, that child care cost is like, you know, is very, very high. Right. It's a large percentage of their, uh, they have to pay for the income. And so we have about half of our um, three and four year olds who don't who aren't able to go uh, to uh, preschool mm -hmm. and are not you know, therefore not ready for uh, school right and or not as ready as they could be for mm -hmm. school and so um, that's I think a big a big chunk that people don't really see the cost in there but there's there's uh, I think it's going to be helpful to a lot of the working families mm -hmm. that this cost will be taken care of right. uh, over the next couple of years so it'll both help parents uh, make a living and it'll help the students get a head start in right. the future right. Right. well great thank you so much for getting up early to try oh, no. today. My pleasure. Yeah, it goes by pretty fast. Oh yeah. yeah. But we'll, we'll be back here every Tuesday uh, at 8:30 in the morning, and there, you can catch a replay of the show Wednesdays at 7 p.m. on Alelo. Thanks so much for joining us, and we'll okay. see you again next week. Aloha. Thanks.